Today, I'll be discussing vegan footwear. Specifically, I'll be comparing vegan Doc Martens to the leather Doc Martens. The main difference between the two is the material that is made from. The vegan Doc Martens is an eco-friendly option for individuals who want to avoid using animal products. One of the biggest concerns with leather is the environmental impact. For example, the tanning process or even the chemicals that's being used to produce these leather products. With all that out the way, let's talk about pricing. As of making this video, depending on what type of leather that you want, generally speaking, vegan Doc Martens and leather Doc Martens are around the same price, even though vegan products are less expensive to make. For example, the 1460s smooth leather is currently $170, while the 1460 vegans are also $170. But there's also more expensive leathers, for example, the made in England. Those are about $200 plus dollars for the 1460s. So does that mean that is worth more than the vegans? When it comes to durability, for me, it's a bit of a tricky one. Since I've had my leather Doc Martens longer than my vegan Doc Martens, I believe since the vegan Doc Martens, they're synthetic, they're like plastic, I don't think that they will last as long as leather Doc Martens, simply because they're plastic. But this is my opinion. Please leave your thoughts down below in the comments. When it comes to the appearance, the leather Doc Martens, they generally have like this extra gloss to it, just a slight gloss that makes it a little bit plasticky. But there's also some other Doc Martens, the leather ones, that it does have that leather grain to it, which personally to me, I think those look nice. But when it comes to the vegans, those, they try their best to make it look like leather, but once you get a closer look of it, you can tell it's not leather. It looks close to it, but you can know that it's not leather. And for me personally, it's good and bad at the same time. The good thing about the vegan Doc Martens is that they do the mono colors, meaning that it's all one color, which I personally like. But once you look close at it, it's for me, it doesn't look the same as leather. I generally do not like when they imitate other things. It's, I don't know, for me, it doesn't feel genuine. Since I've had both of these, I haven't really noticed any difference when it comes to comfort. Maybe other people have, but for me personally, they fit comfortably the same. Please comment down below if you've noticed any comfort differences, but for me personally, I haven't noticed a big comfort difference whenever I put these on. But one thing that I can say is that when it comes to the vegan Doc Martens, they're just a little bit tighter than the leather Doc Martens. That's one big thing that I've known because I wear a size nine with both, a US size nine, and when I first put on those vegan Doc Martens, I noticed there was a slight, it was just a little bit narrower around the toe box and things like that. But eventually, once I put them on for a day or two, they were good. Breaking into these Doc Martens can be different. For example, the vegan Doc Martens, since it's not leather, there's like literally zero break-in period. Literally within a couple of hours or maybe after the first wear, those are good to go. When it comes to the leather Doc Martens, they do have soft leather, which are very easy to break into. They're as good as, let's say, vegan Doc Martens, or it might take just a little bit longer to break into than vegan Doc Martens, but the soft leather makes it very simple compared to like the smooth leather, which is very hard to break into. A lot of people complain about the smooth leather because it takes them too long or their feet is just not used to it. So when it comes to breaking into these, I would say the vegan has just a slight advantage, but when it comes to the leather Doc Martens, you do have the soft leather, which kind of equalizes it in some way. So I won't say like one is better than the other. It all just depends on which one you get. For example, if you're going to get the leather Doc Martens, I would say get you a soft leather Doc Martens. For example, you have the Pasco Doc Martens, which are the Virginia, the Napa leather, great, easy, soft to break into, and even the, the Pisil, which is um, another great one for the Jadens. It's a soft leather. It's very easy to break into. Or you can just do the vegan ones. You already know it's not leather, it's synthetic, and it's not gonna stretch as much. That's one big thing too. Since it's not leather, it's not going to stretch as much. For example, if you do purchase the leather ones, you know over time they would stretch and then they'll mold into your feet. With the vegan ones, 
they're not going to stretch as much. They'll stretch a little bit, but you won't really have to worry about them. I believe this is an important topic to talk about if you're trying to decide on which ones to get. Caring for these two, I won't say it's like night and day, but it's different. For example, the vegans, those literally, you can be as lazy as you wanna be because it's not leather. You just have to wipe it down and you're good to go. Literally, I don't take care of my vegan Doc Martens that much. But when it comes to the leather Doc Martens, I do put leather conditioner on them about every semi-annually. So every six months, I put it on just to make sure they're good to go. But when it comes to the vegan ones, I mean, there's no point of putting any conditioner or anything on it. I just wipe it down, make sure it's clean, and I'm good to go. For some people, that's a win. But for others, maybe not. Maybe they do like putting that leather conditioner on it. It makes it look good and things like that. So when it comes to cleaning and caring for your Doc Martens, it's up to you. Well, what would you like? In conclusion, Doc Martens do have an alternative for everyone. For example, if you want to be eco-friendly and avoid animal products, you can go with the vegan option. But also, if you want something just as good as the vegan options, they do have the soft leather. Or if you just like leather, there are different types of leather options. So when it comes to these two, I would say it's generally up to you on your needs and what you would like to buy. Because for me personally, there's not a big difference. I enjoy both of them. But if you want to know more, I have a video right here that goes into the 1460s and the Jadens.